think this is official now. What? It is the start of our new year now, isn't it? Father son hobby. I think I'm gonna jump on board too. Wow. Wow. I'm loving it. Anyway, that wasn't really day one day. That's where we put stone on in a in day. One day. Yeah. If you thought by this point of the year you'd have so much energy and motivation and everything would all be going to plan and it's not, then you're not alone. Don't beat yourself up. Are you sure you don't want to change your coat before you start complaining? I'm sure. Are you sure? Because I guarantee you're going to get a little bit chilly in I'm that even cold denim now. jacket. We'll see. I know it looks sunny. Mom, but it's I'm still right January. Okay. I'm only okay. a tiny bit cold. Okay. I guarantee by the end of the day, or our trip out, she's going to be in the scarf and the fleecy jacket. Definitely not. Definitely not, she says. We'll see. So we've got hoverboards in the boot here and the hoverboard carts because we are going to the beach front for a little afternoon stroll. I forgot how to do it. It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, so... Are you sure you don't want me to bring your big, uh, your warmer I'm coat? Ready? So, I think this is forward, this is backward. Don't turn it on now, I want it on the other side of the street. Nancy, so we have come so to Cancer Mare for a lovely Sunday stroll on the beachfront because we were in a bit of a sloth mode, I weren't think, we? I think this is official now. What? It is the start of our new year now, isn't it? Oh yeah, we've had a couple of setbacks as you know. A couple of setbacks. So now, so I, this obviously is Obviously we got Covid, then Rai went away with work for a week, he got back last night. Yeah. And um, apparently this is now the start of the new year. The start of the new year. So we're on, we're on January the 23rd and our new year is, New Year's Day is today. It's just took a bit of getting into this year, you know. Yeah. But yeah, off we go. <laughs> bit of routine, please. Right, That's what we need. That's what I so crave. That's what makes me feel good. Here, you can drag it, mate. Beautiful day, lovely and sunny, Can't isn't it boy? Hey? How cool, look at that! So what we have noticed since being here is the French are quite lazy at getting the Christmas decks down. Yeah, come on guys, it's nearly February. <laughs> they even actually still go on in the night time, the lights come on, don't they? Yeah. Mom, what? it's last time I'm up until my birthday. I know, it's going to be 11! <gasps> Can you believe it? And what do you want to do on your birthday? Metal detecting. If you're lucky enough to get a metal detector, we're going to go metal detecting, aren't we? And then you can match Grandad with your metal detecting. Yeah. I'll get better stuff than him now. Do you reckon? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Has it been a while? A bit yeah. fast? Ready? Do you want, yeah. Did you, do you want that shortening again or is it too, is it alright? Shortening? No, it's good. It's good. Good? Oh. Bye kids! Ready? Bye! I still remember everything about it! Eh! Uh, it's fast! You need to stop and pull it up, babe. <laughs> yeah, you pull it up and you keep it in the middle. Ah! Oh, I know, but I tried stopping it and it just went! <laughs> no, because you, you must have been doing it wrong. Do you want it shortened again? Yes, please! Yes! Mine a bit more long. You, you want yours see. a bit longer? Yeah, I like don't. You have to have a bend in your knee. Yeah, we're gonna say. Nancy don't like you, when your legs are straight out. You don't want your legs totally straight. Okay, not totally straight, but you know. That I looks alright. Like <laughs> 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 I tried to stop. Careful, it. look, you have to watch, see what's coming. Wait, Nance. Well, we can that in. Right, go on. Go. Over, quickly, quick. Quick. Some of you will have seen my dad got all the metal detecting kits, didn't he? Oh, yes. For Christmas. 
like the full on kit because when he comes to stay with us that's his dream he's going to go metal detecting on the beaches and stuff how cool so then Seth wanted the kit so that's what he wants for his birthday and that can be a new little hobby isn't it because I wanted to do a hobby with him for ages hadn't you yeah like wanted to get him into um, triathlon or swimming or I something Find about on a roller skates and uh, now it can be their little father-son hobby but I think I'm going to jump on board too you know oh we're going to find some treasure <laughs> loads of treasure just bring me them Cartier rings yeah. <laughs> well. ready? yeah Oh dear, so Nancy's not had hers on charge in a bedroom properly. So she's had it for about 10 minutes. And it's ran out already. Look at me. Uh, and this is where you chirp up and start winding her up, pretending you're having the best time ever. and purple lavender oh lavender did they do lavender there wow coffee pour moi and water mm. Seth what ice cream did you get what's my capri sauce uh chocolate oh, chocolate mm. strong Not coffee mm, it's lovely though very strong very Americano. strong mm. it's definitely not a cafe american that because it's not big enough a lot Cafe American, yeah. Mm. Mm. Can you open, please? It's extremely busy today on the beachfront. Mm. Busier than normal. I think that's because everybody's dusting off the Christmas cobwebs. Do you? Yeah. Everyone's getting a walk in or a jog in. Yeah, it's heaving. Very. I thought she had no clothes on. <laughs> it's black suit, isn't it? I thought she was wearing my like, bikini. A cultural bikini. Perfect day for paddle boarding. Isn't it? We should get paddle board. Is it actually lavender flavour? Mm. Uh, no, it's pilot. Oh, is it? Ah, can I try? Mm. Mm. Oh, it is as well. Mm. So much for not buying food when we're out and about. It was just one off, wasn't it? But it's Sunday. I, I, feel, I don't feel like the rules should apply for weekends. No, I think what we should do is, because obviously we're going to do nice trips out this year mm. on Sundays, I think we should just relax Fridays. the rules. What about the Fridays? Oh yeah, Fridays, yeah. And Saturdays, you know. <laughs> we should relax the rules on a Friday and a Sunday or a Friday and the other day. Only little. Basically, we're, I'm just sick of buying all the food on a weekday. Yeah. When I can be taking nice healthy meals and yeah, on a month. Have you got have you got any food, mate? <laughs> have you? I just I just came over, I just wondering like You got out left for me. You got out left for me. 
Hi. Did you save me a bit? Did you save me a bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Nancy, give us a bit of chomp. Have you finished? Have you finished it? Oh, oh hey. you got lucky. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Morning guys, how you doing? I just need to get the windows down. Do you know what? I've been freezing in the house this morning and I've proper like layered up with my big chunky jumper on but because I've just got in the car and it's been sat in the sun, the car is boiling. Anyway, <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm going to get loads of fruit and veg. I'm going to a local fruit and veg shop. I'm going to stock up. I've actually been so good lately with the cooking and the meal planning. Yeah! Go me. Sticking to my little New Year plan there. Um, we've hardly bought any food out. We've been really mindful about it. The kids don't seem to be bothered whatsoever. I mean, they have sometimes said like, oh, can I get this and can I get that? And I've said, no, let's just wait till we get home. And they've actually been fine. I've been taking the meals out with us um, when we're dashing about and on the go. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. But I am desperate for a big shop again today. The fridge is looking very bare. Something else that I have been doing, actually, which I'm going to tell you about because it's been so handy for me. I mean, I'm probably way late to the party. And yeah, but... Um, I did say I wanted to start using all my old cookbooks and everything, but oh, there's just so many easy ways of getting things up on Google these days. Like whatever pops in your head, you just Google it and there's a million recipes for it, all with reviews so they can all tell you what they think and whatever. But anyway, when you click on the recipes that come up on Google, there's like a little option to save it to your Pinterest. Now, I've never been great with Pinterest. I've always had the app on my phone, but I don't really know what I'm doing with it um, but I started saving all these recipes to my Pinterest created like a little bit of a what do you call it board to save all your pins to uh, just for meal ideas and then obviously when I'm out on the go and going food shopping there is no list required or anything like that I literally just click on my Pinterest think hmm what do I want to make this week there's the ingredients there's the list wow wow i'm loving it so i've actually not checked what i'm going to make this week i'm not you know going all out and putting too much pressure on myself with seven meals to make a week um but yeah i'm definitely doing it a lot more often and it is great so yeah if you find me on pinterest don't judge don't, probably don't even follow me on there because i don't use it for anything like that i just literally save my meals to it guys let me show you so good i've got four followers on my pinterest <laughs> uh here we go look look at that i've got all my little meals saved in there all my pins i've got my little folder that's called meal ideas um and then i've separated them all into their own little folders for like pasta chicken rice fish vegetarian meals things like that so handy anyway what else have i got to... oh, ignore my hair okay we need a hair talk probably in the next vlog i'm on a bit of a journey with my hair at the moment it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better but we'll speak about that next time anyway i've just popped this clip in actually look how cute claire's accessories is always amazing for scrunches and clips seriously so i need to go to the aldi for a big like stock up of bulk stuff um but there's no point in me going there right now because that's kind of on the way to school so I'm going to just go and get all the fresh fruit and veg because I love doing that all separate and getting it from the actual fruit and veg shop. I want turmeric. I really got into a good habit for a very short period of last year of having turmeric most days um, in a juice. So I, my favourite was turmeric and orange juice. Gorgeous. And obviously it's super good if you can get turmeric in your diet. 
uh, more regular so that's my plan I need some fresh turmeric and ginger for juicing as well and yeah we're on a bit of a healthy mission guys took me a while to get into it but baby steps and I've started oh something else that I've been sticking to as well is which is like my little goal my house is really messy and yeah that's a bit of a weird goal to have but I think I said in the last vlog that I need to just prioritize myself a little bit more you know and instead of just getting obsessed with the housework all the time it's not that it gets like dirty it's more things I'm forever picking up things and putting away things like tidying up but you can spend all day doing that and literally the next day the things are out again that's what happens with kids so what I've just been doing is thinking bugger the housework it can wait get myself in the gym and wow I feel so much better for it so I did a really good workout yesterday and I've done another one this morning and I'll update you on the process of that I mean it's early days but we'll see Lots of food, lots of the good stuff, lots of amazing fresh veggies. Um, Nip to the Aldi as well. I've had to stop myself munching on these before I eat the entire bag. Has anyone ever had these? They're so Moorish. It's like that sugared ginger. So Moorish, just one more. Honestly, so good. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of good stuff and um, to crack on with my cooking basically the cooking continues I'm on my little cooking mission don't know what I'm making tonight though maybe risotto because sorry I've got a mouthful now we're all going to be able to eat together tonight because we've got no after school activities things like that um, so that'll be nice I think I'm going to make risotto one that I saved on my Pinterest um, but I forgot chicken stock so that's really annoying because a lot of these recipes have got chicken stock so I'm going to get some of that on the way home make me fancy risotto with white wine lovely so I just nipped into the shop because I forgot my chicken stock and Nancy, what happened? I got so hungry that I looked she around she looked around and saw those I thought he was thinking they were sweets. I didn't even read them. <laughs> so like, <gasps> Did you like them? No. <laughs> At first it was like, mm, and then a the second. Yeah, once the sugar's gone, it's literally ginger. Very like spicy, aren't they? Yeah, it's bit of a kick. Out. Did you? Well, where did you spit it? Oh. In a cloth. A cloth, and where's the cloth? There. Ah, oh, lovely. Home just in time for those dreamy pink skies. Look at that. It's like got a slight fog over it tonight as well. Marshmallowy. Just love it. Oh my golly gosh, guys. Look at my fresh food shop, guys. Here it is, vision of health, January and all that. <laughs> and then before we know it, Easter will be here and it'll all go to pot, joking. Anyway, we've got some Almond croissants, these are not the best almond croissants I've ever had, like the best ones if you like in a really naughty mood. We get this squashed almond croissants. I don't know what the actual like French name for them is, but you have to get them from the proper um, boulangerie and they don't all do them actually and they're like squashed and they've got the gooey, is it frangipane inside? They're just amazing. Anyway, these are just normal almond croissants for the kids. We've got a massive ginger there. Got my turmeric. Had to go to a bio shop for this though because I couldn't find it. Here's what it looks like in case anyone didn't know what fresh turmeric looked like. So I just bung that hole in the juicer with um, oranges and sometimes carrots as well. Sometimes a bit of ginger. I mix it up. 
we've got some fresh beetroot because I've got a beetroot recipe saved to me Pinteresty thing you know um mushrooms shallots oh look at those they look absolutely heavenly look at those incredibly naughty no doubt like sugared figs i think just amazing um and yeah we got all the good stuff and then the not so good stuff well no it is the good stuff but it's a bit more naughty so would it be an actual french food shop without the cheese and the wine really um i'm going to use this in the risotto tonight and then i always just pick random ones up because you can't really go wrong with um, the wine here it seems and it's so cheap so I just try a different one every time and yeah then I just got some meat some bits which I've put away because that's the boring bits um, so tonight tonight's ingredients guys is uh, wine uh, and I need to check because I can't remember but some other bits anyway, shallots I think. Um, oh, mushrooms, those mushrooms are going in it actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this put away and then I'm gonna get cracking with tea because the kids are starving. Rai's still at work, but he'll be home, I don't know. He's home from work, straight in the fridge, oh, aren't you? Daddy's home. Get that? home. Oh, that's a beetroot. That's a, what <laughs> did you win? <laughs> I thought it were an av um, all the avocado. He not even took his bag off his shoulder, look, and he's straight in the fridge. Straight in the fridge. I'm cooking tonight, hon. I'm, I'm making a risotto. Oh, thank God. A lovely risotto. How's your day been? How do you know it's lovely? Have you cooked it before? No, but risottos are beautiful, aren't they? Mm. What sort of time scale are we talking? Because man is starving. I'm going to start cooking right now. Shall I make myself a tiny little starter? No. No, 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 no. No? No. No. I've told the kids to wait so you can wait as well. Mm. Yeah? I might just have a little block of cheese or No. Absolutely nothing. I, I, really I want do. you to be starving for I, your risotto. Listen, I don't even need to be like at the edge of my hunger. No. I will eat so much risotto, it's unreal. Well, what can I do then? Because I need to take the edge off. Tidy, clean. I'm not clean. <laughs> <laughs> takes the edge off for me. I'm going in. I've been at work all day, I'm not coming in to clean right now. See leaves and seeds. <laughs> This is an extremely calorific meal for a Tuesday. But it's okay, we're gonna enjoy it. Looks delicious. Ta-da! We are ready to go and eat this deliciousness. You've been forever. Three hours. How did it go? Alright. Are you happier? Yeah. yeah. You I'm sure? I'm still not 100%. All right. But I'm 80, 80%, eighty percent I'd say. Oh that's good. We're getting there, aren't we, hon? It's better than zero. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Trying to vlog on the shower squeaking like mad. Shall I have Fixed a little it. 
I was just thinking, should I have a little like roundup of the end of our week? Because I started vlogging at the beginning of the week and it looked squeaky clean, like um, really clean eating, healthy food shop. I did two amazing gym sessions and then it sort of went a bit like that, didn't it? I'm worried. What? Look at that. What? Zero minutes on memory card. Ooh. I think she might be full. We're back. Right, we just ran out of memory. Anyway, the week went a little bit like this, right? So there was one day, weren't they? You hurt your hand in the gym, so mm. Rai was in agony with his hand. He was Actually, up all one agony. night. Yeah, he was up all one night. He didn't sleep. The only way to get rid of the pain, because we didn't even have any tablets in the house, because we don't really buy tablets. Um, he had, he drank loads of whiskey. Half a bottle of whiskey. So the next morning, he had no sleep and he was hung over and his hand was in agony. Anyway, all was resolved because we had a trip to the chemist, got it strapped up, got you some tablets. Thank goodness. You're all good, aren't you? Yeah. Just do it a little bit And he had a couple now. of bad training sessions which really peed him off because he thought it was the end of the world, like something's happened to him. You'd, you're not bigging that up enough. They were terrible. I had to walk home. Never happens. <laughs> Never happens. Um, so the week, for me anyway, started off really high and then it just went a little bit wobbly like this. And so anyway, that was his little wobble. And then mine was, I just had a really stressful, moody couple of days because, sorry for the TMI, but it was the time of the month. Anyway, we both ended up having a boulangerie trip, didn't we? A beast we? of a boulangerie trip. We were both feeling a bit meh that, oh, that way out. That was the kebab day. That yeah. was the kebab day. Yeah, they do kebabs in boulangeries here, yeah? some of them. No, some of them. This one particular boulangerie does the most incredible kebab. I kept her by talking about it and the lads on site talking about it. So I thought, today's the day to try this incredible kebab. Mm. And oh my gosh, it was the day. So that day... <coughs> oh dear, sorry. Excuse you. Down the wrong hole. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> So that day was, we broke our rule of eating out and healthy eating because it was a big dirty kebab. Oh, and what did we finish off with? We had the lemon tart. We had a citron tart, mm. which was oh. incredible. Okay. And I also got a squashed almond croissant that day. I didn't eat it all at the same time. I saved it for the evening to have a cup of tea. But anyway, that was a really... Day one day. I swear we put stone on in a in day. In one day. Yeah. So bad. Anyway, I could feel we it. We needed in the it. Session. We needed it, didn't we? Yeah. So anyway, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I don't want to put this vlog out and everything's all perfect. I'm getting back to it. It's all rosy. Everything's going to plan because it's not like that at all. No. So my point is. It's step by step. So next week, rather than saying, next week's a fresh week, I'm gonna start again, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna pick up from where I left off. And so I've only done three gym sessions this week. So next week, I'm gonna try and beat that. I'm gonna try and do four. Basically just better the weeks, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. You can Steps. go and get your shower now if you want. Thanks. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Where's my coffee? I made lovely coffee. Oh, that's something else that we did as well. Uh, well, who? he did. <laughs> so the coffee machine had gone all rubbish and the throffer wasn't working. Basically, it needed a big uh, taking apart and descaling. So Ryan spent the afternoon doing that yesterday, which means I have lovely throffy coffees again. Heaven. This is the first one of the day, by the way. Anyway, yeah, my point is if you thought that you're if you thought by this point of the year you'd have so much energy and motivation and everything would all be going to plan and it's not then you're not alone don't beat yourself up it's just baby steps getting back into it whatever your new year's goals are just try and better your week a little bit each week and if you don't have any goals and you're feeling funky fresh and fine then that's also amazing and i am Totally jealous. Anyway, guys, it's the weekend. Seth has just been in the shower. We got his shelves put up in his bedroom um, yesterday afternoon. Nancy stayed over at a friend's last night, so we're going to go pick her up at 12. And we're probably just going to do a family walk again. Do you fancy a family walk? No. No? I don't want to go on the walk. Come and say hi. Okay. Ellie, do you like? 
You want some LED lights in there? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to see what it gets to. Birthday! It's nearly your birthday month. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, next week I think goes into February, which means that's your birthday month. It's also Nini's birthday month, isn't it? Yeah. This is two days before me. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's a bit of a roundup of the week. And um, next week, you know, I'm just going to try a bit harder and slowly things will hopefully fall into place. Okay? That's all we can do, innit? That looks ace, nice, that, doesn't it? Are you happy? So I put these up yesterday afternoon with great difficulty actually because he used extra long screws because they're quite heavy shelves uh, which means they went through the wall on the other side so we've got a bit of patching up to do. So you get one job done and you create another. So he's got all these pops on here which he collects, don't you? And then for Christmas, I don't know if you lot can remember, he got the pop advent calendar which had loads of mini pops in so we just put all these in a pop protector box i think that looks quite cool happy aren't you boy mm. hey why is superman already in a pop protector box like he comes in that i know some of them do don't they some of them actually come in the perspex boxes oh, wait, and, and some box. of them are just in normal <laughs> boxes but you can buy the Pop protectors separate as well. Yeah, I, I think, think you need some more. A special one. Probably. Yeah. Might be like a special edition one, yeah. Don't know. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. What's your favourite? He says he doesn't have favourites. Uh, well, no. My one for one favourite, they're both tied. Right. Halo and Superman. Halo and Superman. Yeah, I think Halo is really cool. I thought you'd choose the vintage Mickey Mouse one. Really? Yeah. Mum. That was your first word, Mickey, when you were a baby. Mickey Mouse. Obsessed with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, weren't you? Mm. I was. Did you wash your hair in the shower? Yes, I did. I'm sure you can get like a little keyboard hoover. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and end this vlog here. A little bit of a weekly catch up for you. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you all had an amazing week. Sending loads of love and I will see you again on Sunday. Bye!